Are we ready to start? Yes, sir. Good Okay, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This morning, we are here to, uh, together as elected officials, as community leaders, not to denounce or demonize homeless families that are living in our shelter system, not to make political grandstanding statements against the mayor. What we are here to say today is that whatever policies that the Blasio administration has employed over the past three years to combat the homelessness in the city, it's not working. They're hopeless policies. They're failed policies. They're policies that have resulted in a skyrocketing homeless population that went from 50,000 the day he took office to almost 60,000 today as we stand here. There are 60,000 men, women, and children who are sleeping in our shelter system tonight. They have no hope. They have no opportunity. And yet the mayor of the city of New York has no plan to help those people because the only plan that he, see, that he seems to think works is warehousing these families in hotels, in motels, and in substandard housing conditions. It's not doing anything to help the homeless people who need the help the most. It's not doing anything uh, to respect the communities where uh, these shelters are being placed. It's not being transparent with the elected officials that have to represent these communities and these constituents and who also share a genuine concern for the homeless uh, people who are falling on hard times. And so we want to be very clear that this is not a press conference to attack the homeless. This is a press conference to attack the failed homeless policies of the de Blasio administration. Now yesterday was very troubling because a spokesperson uh, for the Department of Homeless Services said that they were going to double down on their policies. Well, clearly, by doubling down, they believe what they're doing is working, and we know that it's not working. There are 10,000 more homeless people in the system today than the day de Blasio took office. Now, what does work, the mayor doesn't seem to be interested in using or pursuing. Bringing back Section 8 vouchers. Uh, if he had a better relationship with the governor, I believe that would happen, but it, I don't even think they're on speaking terms. So maybe he can kiss and make up with Governor Cuomo and bring back Section 8 vouchers to help people, uh, low-income New Yorkers, who need rental subsidies. That would make a big difference. De Blasio, rental assistance. The, 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 de, Blasio, de Blasio is touting his Lynx voucher system. We know that the Lynx vouchers, landlords aren't even using. Uh, he touts his anti-eviction policies, his legal uh, representation. As a matter of fact, yesterday they said that uh, that the situation would be even worse, that it would be 67,000 instead of 60,000. Nothing could be further from the truth. This is just fuzzy man. The reality is that whatever the mayor is doing, it's not working. Now, he may think things are moving in the right direction, but if you ride the subways, as I did this morning, along with many of my constituents, we saw many, many panhandlers on the subways. If you drive through the streets of the city of New York, you see many panhandlers on every street corner. It's a sad reality for people who have fallen on hard times that they have to beg on the streets because the shelters that we do have are just so dangerous, so unsanitary, so unwelcoming, that they would rather take their chances sleeping on the streets, in the subways, and panhandling on every street corner. It's a sad reality, but we, what we are here today is to demand a better plan. That's all we want. We want the mayor to put forth a coherent policy that will prevent more people from becoming homeless and that will do more to help the people who are homeless transition into permanent, affordable, and stable, safe housing. Yeah. That yeah. Is the yeah. so, I am very proud to stand with the community leaders and elected officials who have joined us today. Because over the past several years, we have been working together to demand a better plan from the administration, to demand better transparency from the administration, better communication from the administration, so that we can work together to help the homeless and at the same time serve our constituents with a, with a good government, transparent way. And so I'm very proud that we're joined by a bipartisan group of elected officials from Queens, and I'll start here on my left. I'll welcome our state senator, Joe Adabo. I'll then uh, introduce our state senator, Tony Avella, our councilwoman, Elizabeth Crowley uh, from Glendale, and there are several others that are also on the way. So we'll start with Senator Adabo. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. 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 Good job
morning. And I want to thank you all for being here. And I want to thank the good people behind me, the compassionate people who care about the communities and the homeless individuals. You know, the homeless situation was not a surprise to us. Or well, should have been a surprise to this administration. As Councilman Eric has, uh, has said, this was a foreseeable crisis. And it just shows that this administration wasn't up to handling the task for the people who truly needed the help. Now, when all Queens elected officials got called here to City Hall on July 22nd, 2014, regarding the homeless situation, I thought it was about asking us for help. I thought it was about working with our colleagues in government and our people in our communities to help this administration with this situation, this crisis. But it wasn't. But it wasn't. What it was about was this administration and its members telling the Queens elected officials we are getting homeless shelters and we have no say in the matter. And we're getting seven days notice and that's it. Dictating that we're getting these shelters. Thus cutting off and shutting off our suggestions, our ideas, and the ideas of the good people behind me. That is no way for this administration or any administration to work toward helping others. This policy that the de Blasio administration has of taking somebody off the streets putting it into a very costly shelter, or even worse, hotel situation with no kitchens, prison-like settings, metal detectors, curfews, no public transportation, limited services, a very costly policy, and then possibly to affordable housing to get them on their feet is wrong. Instead, work with us, listen to our people, and get homeless people off the street and into affordable housing, bypassing a very costly step of putting them into a hotel. That's the way to help. If you truly want to help a homeless individual and avoid all this frustration behind me, that could have been avoided. All the frustration, all the rallies that I have never seen in my life against a prior administration, all could have been avoided. All the frustration amongst my colleagues in government who want to help, who have ideas, and to shut them out, that all could have been avoided if this administration did the right thing. But it did. It chose to go down a path of a dictatorship, of dictating and telling us where these properties are. And they found a great loophole for themselves. Because once it's not a shelter, and they don't have to include the New York City Comptroller's office, and they start to rent out individual rooms, transparency is out the window. They don't have to tell us how many rooms. They don't have to tell us where they are. And yet again, they continue to dictate and put these people in inappropriate spots. It has to stop. So we are here to tell the mayor, stop playing around with propaganda videos and edited videos to show us the wrong message. That it's not about who is in the shelter, it's about the type of policy and the type of shelter. Stop playing with ho hotel owners who have a questionable background, like a shot uh, Patel, and bribing elected officials, stop playing with these kind of hotel owners. And for once, do the right thing to help others get back on their feet and alleviate the frustration that these good people behind me have. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah.